What's up, YouTube? Smashing Pumpkin here, coming at you guys with the first round of the next great Yu Gi Tuber competition. For the first round, I need to select a card or archetype to talk about for the next four minutes. As a fairly competitive player, there's a wide variety of meta cards that I could pick from to tell you guys about. However, playing the meta is only one way to be playing this game, and it, honestly, the meta is a pretty beaten path for most Yu Gi Oh players. So I'm gonna tread off the path and I'm gonna talk about a fun card. Introducing Gazer Shark. Gazer Shark is a level 5 water fish with 1000 attack and 1900 defense. Nothing about this card seems that impressive, however, its effect while in the graveyard is all that matters. It reads, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target two level 5 water monsters in your graveyard, except Gazer Shark. Special summon those monsters, but their effects are negated. Immediately after this card resolves, XYZ summon one water XYZ monster using only those two monsters. You can only use this effect of Gazer Shark once per turn. So at first glance it seems to be a really cool card, but there are also some drawbacks. How I see it, there are five major issues. What good level 5 monsters are there? How do you get all the monsters in the graveyard? What happens when you draw Gazer Shark? That sounds pretty shitty. What good water XYZs are there? To answer the first question, there are actually more good level 5 water monsters than you think. I can't discuss them all in one video, so I will simply discuss the ones that I think are the best. First is Dragonize, who can special summon itself from the hand or graveyard when your opponent special summons outside the damage step by discarding one card. Next is Sea Lancer, who can equip banished fish, aqua, or sea serpent monsters and prevent its destruction by destroying an equipped card instead. Finally is Deep Sea Shark, who can be special summoned in with instant fusion. So now that we know there are good level 5s to use with Gazer Shark's effect, how do we get them all into the graveyard? Fortunately in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, there are tons of ways to get cards into the graveyard. Let's start off with a couple of my favorites. First is Curry Bandit, which not only allows for you to dump water monsters into the graveyard, but also searches for key spells and traps to maintain hand advantage. Gen X Undyne is in the same boat. Heh, <laughs> water puns. But it's cool because you can choose what gets sent to the graveyard instead of being left up to chance. Other ways of sending these cards to the graveyard include... <gasps> Title, Gallus of Starbeast, Card Trooper, Screech, Mother Grizzly, Foolish Burial, Transmodify, Needle Bug Nest, Fish Fork, Planner, Magical Merchant, Nimble Sunfish, Shornet, and Most Light Sworn Support. And don't get me started on traditional. Ugh. Now that we know it isn't too hard to get them into the graveyard, what happens when you draw them? I know that level 5 monsters are pretty bad to be drawing, so how can we mitigate that fact? As I mentioned earlier, Dragon Eyes can be helpful in this aspect, because it will allow you to discard cards from your hand to special summon itself. Other ways of getting the level 5 water monsters out of your hand include Tidal, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, or Rageki Break, and Abyss Spike, who can also search out Gen X Undyne, which will allow you to dump another water into the graveyard. So far we have determined that setting up Gazer Shark isn't too too hard, but what plays do you make with it? The current lineup for TCG rank 5 water monsters is, um... Lackluster at best. One currently OCG card makes the deck entirely worth playing, and that's Full Armor Crystal Zero Lancer. To explain it briefly, if M7, Maestroke, and Tiger King all did the fusion dance together, you would basically get Zero Lancer. Also, while it has 3 materials, it has 3700 attack, which is pretty monstrous. Now imagine spamming them out of the graveyard because of a pretty decent mill, that seems kinda insane. Cards like Gazer Shark are often overlooked by the majority of the player base. If you are a super huge, mega, awesome, giga brilliant Yu-Gi-Oh player, in the competitive scene you're probably not going to use this card anytime soon. However, if you are looking for something to break the monotony of building and playing meta decks, try out Gazer Shark. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. You can't say no to a face like this. One more time, this is Smashing Pump Kid. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't hesitate to do that for me. I'd really appreciate it so I can move along in this competition. Thanks. Bye.